Hey guys, it's Punchy, and today I'm going to be talking about Deep Bogan's agility stat, what it's good for, and how to uncap it. If you guys want me to make more videos like this and more guys, make sure to like and subscribe, show your support, and I'll make sure to make some more. Agility is one of the basic stats you can upgrade when creating your character, and by specking it out, you'll be receiving ankle weights to increase your training at the beginning. Currently, I'm on the best build in the game, obviously, 75 agility, 75 charisma, whatever it is. We're going to see what agility actually does, okay? So if you're looking at the campfire, agility says that it increases your stealth as well as your parkour. So something that's really annoying is that it actually says it increases your stealth and it doesn't show it on the summary. This is the same exact thing for strength. It says it increases your arm penetration, but it doesn't show it at all on your summary. This is not supposed to be a hidden stat. This is something that you level up on the menu. Like, is it too much to ask for a detection range? Regardless of this, the purpose for getting agility would be having a very fast build, maybe even just having a balance build, or having a stealth build. Just to clarify, leveling up your agility does not actually increase your movement speed, but it lets you scale things at a faster rate, a little bit higher, and it gives you abilities and talents that can increase your mobility as well as your speed. So some of the mobility talents that you really want to get, some of them are very, very good, allow you to get away from fights, get out of the depths easier, stuff like that. In my opinion, the two best talents you can get for agility if you want to do wall climbing are kickoff, Essentially, your first wall jump will be higher than normal, and boulder jump, which increases your climb after you do a slide, but that's not all that agility has to offer. If you're a big fan of stealthing and assassinating people, that is a path that you can go. There are certain talents that allow you to crouch faster, move around when you're crouching faster, and have more stealth while you're crouching. And I won't lie, these are pretty nice. I'm a big fan of that. A couple talents that are very, very good for assassinations are the assassination damage, which scales off the level. Pretty much the higher level you are, the higher damage you will do when you sneak on somebody and hit them with an M1. Another talent that goes hand in hand with this would be the stun on assassination times, pretty much much after you assassinate somebody they're stunned for a while you can get a couple more hits in after you sneak them and there are actually a couple of talents that increase your speed after you do certain things some of these are good but others are a little bit too specific like one of them says you get a speed boost after you dodge an attack but then there's another one that says you get a speed boost after they lose blood which is quite uncommon moving on to the agility based mantra so currently if you're an only agility build you're kind of in a bad spot they nerfed revenge and dash which are your agility mantras allow you go fast forward revenge is an instant teleport that shoots you in a straight line which does damage the hitbox is very inconsistent but it is modifiable with rush charge drift shards if you want to go very very fast dash is a jet of air that shoots you forward it's more aimable and is non-modifiable with any of these mantra things so how this was nerfed is they put revenge and dash on the same cooldown which doesn't make sense to me i mean why are you going to add them into the game just nerf them this change was clearly done to decrease the amount of runners that are using these skills so now you're going to have to choose between revenge or dash when you want to run away the final agility mantra that i know of is called adrenaline surge pretty much it's an active ability that you pop and it allows you to have a speed boost it does not actually count as a speed boost because it doesn't have any wisps of air like a trail behind you so it's not going to work on your talents but it does increase your movement speed this actually makes you move very very fast if you're crouching and you have that skill that has faster crouching movement with the gentleman surge it makes you move very very fast when you're crouching that's pretty much the whole agility skill now let's get into uncapping it so the location we have to go for this is song seeker it's going to be next to song seeker so i'm just going to be steering there from banda island which is Aresia. so all i'm going to say is before we do this it's going to be very very difficult if you do not have kickoff you do not have boulder jump or you're not with like a group of people you want to have some type of mobility if you don't have a jump if you don't have shadow travel it's going to be very very difficult to actually get this if you have the wind double jump or even the cauldron to stand on top of this will be a little bit easier but again we're going to be doing a lot of parkour that is tough once you're at song seeker you're going to jump off go to the island where there's a windmill and we're going to be going up this mountain where you would normally upgrade your fire mantra skills many of these enemies can be very annoying if you're in a high ping server like the singapore one i don't even know why we're there probably just because it was small but again if you're not very specced out in anything like fortitude or damage just skip these guys we were just fighting them. If you continue up the stairs to the monastery, there's going to be a cliff on the side. It's pretty much where you would go if you were to escape the um, the ice giants, I think the hero sword quest. But instead of escaping it, we're actually just going to jump off the cliff. So if you don't have any good agility moves, it's going to be very difficult to cross. I don't think you can do it anymore. You used to be able to do revenge and dash cross, but they actually nerfed that. So we're just going to be jumping off and taking a ton of fall damage. So at this point, it's actually very beneficial to come with your friends. Um, you could just boost on top of their head all the way to the top of the mountain, but I'll be showing you what I was doing instead. So if you really want to, if you want to solo this with all your mobility moves, whatever you want to do, you can scale this normally. But of course, you know, the fastest way to do this is to just boost on top. Um, very interesting why they designed this like that. I mean, <laughs> like it's so much easier. It looked like it was designed for somebody to, to squeeze through this crack with like another person. Nevertheless, however you want to go up is your choice. There is like a pipe that you want to see. Instead of crossing the pipe, we're going to go up, up, up. To the right of the pipe, there is actually this hill that you can just jump on top of. And we're going to be going on top of these chains, okay? So the chains are where we're going to be heading towards. If you're ever lost, just look for the chains. That's where we're going. As I was crossing the chains, I was realizing, is this even possible if you don't have kickoff? Like, I didn't have kickoff, so I needed a friend. 
but it is very difficult to actually jump up some of these hills if you do not have kickoff. As we go up the parkour, it gets harder and harder. Very difficult to do if you don't have the talents that increase your jumps. Again, I want to stress that no matter where you're going, we're just going to be going up. So if you're ever lost on like direction wise, just remember we're going up. Both vertical movement as well as horizontal movement is required for this parkour. So if you have assault moves, if you have revenge or dash, or even shadow teleport, that's going to be very useful as well. My method of movement was actually an advanced vow mastery, which allows me to get two of my clan mates to boost me up every single jump. So yeah, if you have good friends, you don't even need any of this stuff. Although some of the parkour is annoying, I like that you can use anything to your disposal to get to the top. It's not just a single path to unbind agility, you can use whatever you want to get to the top. I'm not gonna lie, this actually took me around 20 minutes to get to the top based on the recording. But um, yeah, it's actually difficult if you're, if you're lagging. If you're in a server that's laggy, or if you're just bad like me, I mean, hey, good luck. There's a bunch of different types of parkour, so just keep going up, up, and up. If you have your friends, hey, call them up. Because, like, hey, I, I don't want to sit around here. I'm not wasting my time. I'm trying to play the game. Not, I'm not playing Minecraft. Like, what, we doing Minecraft parkour now? After a long journey, my sorry ass finally got to the top where our NPC is. This is our trainer. He's going to be talking to us about agility. And I think he's a possible, he might be an oath person in the future. Because, I mean, hey, new oaths coming out. He talks about oaths. Maybe worth it you know, checking out. Not too sure if this guy actually is an oath teacher because I didn't have an oath and I talked to him, he talked about oaths. But um, yeah, he unbinds your stuff if you have 75 agility and that's pretty much it. He has some cool lore too. He talks about like Seltorian horror. If any of you lore nerds are watching, maybe you want to go over here and see what he has to say. After unbinding agility, I feel humbled, and now I realize that the people that run for me are actually, I have a little bit more respect for them. They actually try, like, they, they try hard I run away. That's all I'm going to say. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and more guides to come. Thank you, guys.